I am now convinced I'm living in the Twilight Zone. Up is down, cheating is good, male is female. Wait, oh dear god. Either way, this constitutes as one of the highlight plays from the Pokemon Unite Winter Tournament, landing four Lucario Extreme Speeds. Let us watch the peak of Pokemon Unite gameplay that gets shouted out by the Pokemon Unite Twitter from their tournament. Now, this first play is... I don't even know why it's here. Congratulations, like, you you win on a gank and then you get some bullying stuff. Oh man, look at that extreme speed, oh man, he's... Yeah, and I can't even see what's happening. Oh, the audio attacks and all this weird graphic stuff. And they even got one of their teammates KO'd. But this is the play, guys. Check it out. This is the highest skill you can achieve. One hit on the extreme speed, getting the reset into three people. Oh, what's that? There's still more targets? Whoa. Breaking it down. You know, we need the play-by-play. -play. We need the frame-by-frame. -frame. Second hit. I think that only hit one person even. The third hit into a group of Pokemon. My, the fourth. The fourth impossible. It's impossible to get all three resets on three targets as Lucario when they are grouped up. Highlight play. What? It, it, not, unmatched even! Four consecutive attacks! Bullseye emoji! Sixth round of the Japan tournament! The super play, guys! Th that's the super play on Lucario! I don't... I don't know, like, do the devs need self-awareness that this is Lucario and Extreme Speed has always been the best since launch? And that's this. this is how it should have been played? The entire time, but this is stuff I showed in my tutorial. Like, this is week one, Lucario. The second you understand that, oh man, the reason why you don't go close combat is because Bone Rush resets the extreme speeds, and that means you can go for like seven extreme speeds, and then like once you hit level 13, go for like 11 extreme speeds. But four, four, is the absurdity. You know, there's probably many people who use Godspeed well, but it's amazing. To be able to calmly use God speed like that. That's the trick. That's the trick. You just take the extra point two seconds to line it up and make sure you hit the target. Look how good it is. Just unmatched. So strong. Yeah, I wanted, I wanted to like see this one really quick though. Because I wanted to like see like who he hits. Because. Oh. Yeah, he does tag on that. I don't know. That's weird. Like he just takes more damage. Either way. It's like, oh man. You used... Your ability on the opponent. That's all it takes. That's all it takes to get recognition as a top player in a tournament of Pokemon Unite is landing abilities. And when you watch the Pokemon, like, in, actually not even watch, when you play Pokemon Unite and you see the players in your games, you actually realize that like 90% of the people are incapable of that. So when you see a play of this caliber, it's unmatched. Godspeed nerf. We need to nerf extreme speed because... This is how it's been able to be used exactly since the start. You know, uh, what we got? Great exact usage. Amazing! Amazing play from the Lucario. I'm, I, everything's backwards, guys. I, I don't know. Like, what? Am I being pranked? Is this a prank? Where's the camera? That's the problem about the Twilight Zone. If I'm in it, that means it's just me. All, everything here, all of this, you people watching, the people making fun of me, I'm having a mental breakdown right now. And then like th this post right here, the people making Pokemon Night, it's all fabricated just so the cosmic powers of the universe can laugh at me because I'm right and no one's letting me be right. That again, watch my videos. I have spectating top ranked players. I have spectating the last champion or the last tournament. The reason why I haven't spectated this one is because it's been an unwatchable fiesta. I I can't. It, it pains me too much to do a breakdown of how god awful the finals of Pokemon Unite tournaments are at this top caliber of play that everyone worships. 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 Everyone thinks like, oh man, this is it. This is what I need to emulate when it's just, it's mundane. And then they, they're bad. They're just bad. They suck at the game. And they think, like, copying mediocre play just because it's being done by quote-unquote top players when all they have to do is just play more than everyone else to float through the corrupted rank system. They do that, and then they're just worse at it. 
It's it's a what's it called? A, a copy of a copy. The Bojack Horseman quote: Xerox of a Xerox. That's it. That's all it is. The game has Xeroxed itself to where there is no toner left. It isn't even printing anymore. Somehow something's still coming out of the machine, and it's just an abomination. So, yeah, I I don't get it. The, the game is dead. I don't see how you come back from this. I don't see how anyone like sees this and goes, wow, what a great player. I'm definitely going to play Pokemon Unite more now. Or the outside looking in, or how like this is, like how this grows Pokemon Unite. And this is coming off the back of the Championship Series announcement, which wasn't even an announcement. It was an announcement of an announcement. Great. And the thing is, there's more plays, but I haven't had any interest because like I said, the Japan Winter Tournament has been an unwatchable abomination. So it's like, I see this, I'm like, oh, a Greedent play. Japan is spotlighting us a Greedent play, guys. What, what are we in for? I can only imagine. 1,000 likes, too. The game's getting engagement, but, like, it, it still feels dead. Like, this, you can't grow a scene off of this. It's not even Greedent, it's level 4. It's an invade. He just, he just did some- He didn't even steal anything! He- <laughs> There's no way that's a high- Wasting a minute of time, not farming, not progressing the game state, not doing it, not even getting a successful steal is pro unmatched god caliber play. He jukes it into the bush. Oh no, he fakes it! On the cooldowns, which gives him a berry. And then he goes over. Off the cooldown re reset. Let's get the double replay, because the the sub room temp IQ, which is like 99% of the Pokemon Unite player base, they can't comprehend it, not watching it once. Not watching it twice, but three times in a more slowed down environment. Just to make sure you understand. Also... Ignoring that we have Pokemon with two mobility abilities. I think there was also a roam from bot Like at one point there were three people involved here. So Greedent abandons the play He greet yeah, this Greedent abandons. Does, is there like a counter steal going on? Is he supposed to be bot? There's no skill here <laughs> This is worse than I thought good thing. I never clicked on it because I don't know! How does this Greedent already scored 15 points? Alright. Alright, let's see what the Pokemon that has guaranteed resets. Oh, f oh, I can't, dude! There- How do people go? Verlissimai's wrong. Oh, man, he's- Yeah, oh, I can- Good- Good thing I can't see anything. Because every time they use an ability, they spam a, a graphic over it. So I don't even understand what's happening anymore. Uh, uh, what's- They're trying to make it legible by replaying it a million times and slowing it down doing the play-by-play, frame-by-frame. And then they just throw graphics on screen where you can't see anything happening. What is happening? What is- What are any of these? What does this mean? I just saw poofs go over the screen and everything. I'm like, wait, was that a Greedent attack? Why are they giving graphic to the Greedent attack? That's an X speed pop, I guess, on the story to go. <laughs> gotta, gotta hoof it over there, and then we gotta get the resets. Would be really nice, but the spectate doesn't have like ability cooldowns. It'd be really nice to have like an ability cooldown overlay or something. But even then, I don't think the devs like. I don't know how. The, wow! It then became a three v one. Sarina is unmatched. Wait, you're saying the broken Pokemon that gets shields that gets heals survives? A 3v2? Incredible. And that's another thing like, yeah, well, the thing is Dragonite used this thing called an ability. And when you use an ability, it goes on cooldown. So sure, Serena got nuked to no health. But that means nothing because then there's no follow-up damage. Also, I'm pretty sure Snorlax had crowd control. Yo, yo, check it. Check it. Sliding in. Two hits for the hit points. Two of the three hits, so actually not even playing perfectly. Two more hits for the the healing. Oh, just tanks it. Oh, see, that's what they're saying. They're, they're trying to... This is actually their narrative, dude. Their narrative is that because 
He landed his abilities earlier. He had enough health to survive. I don't even think the math adds up. Wait. Uh, unless I have to, like, zoom in. Like, okay, I guess he's missing health. And if he's missing more health, then he heals. Sure. There's a case. He didn't waste health on the overheal. Fine. But yeah, it's like, alright, so yeah, like, look at the, the, little, the little shred of health he got. Oh, that's the shred of health he survived. So, not even making it about the play. And then, like, also Dragonite got double crowd control. So sorry, and I couldn't get KO'd. Wow. Yeah, you win a 2v3. Winning a 2v3 is all the skill it requires to get a highlight for the Pokemon Unite tournament. <laughs> There's no way, dude! How is any of this real? How can anyone be against me? How can anyone fight my comments or what I've been saying about Pokemon Unite? There is no top play, dude. No one knows what's going on. The devs are lost. The official media is lost. Brain cells lost.